Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Before Rockstar Games unloaded on Red Dead Redemption 2 information earlier this month, we really only had a small glimpse into what this game actually was. Sure, before the big May reveal, we got some amazing shots of the open world and a bit of information on what the story of the game is about, but there was just so many questions we had. We still hadn't had really any details on the gameplay, but now we have a much better understanding of the game that we're getting this October, and today we're going to go through all the weapons and animals that we know of thus far. With this game's world moving east and featuring tons of improvements and changes from the first Red Dead Redemption, it's important everyone understands Red Dead Redemption 2 is a very different experience that we're getting, and you can see some of that just by the images and footage of the weapons and wildlife. But before we get into all of that, as usual gang, if you have not heard, I'm doing a giveaway for Red Dead Redemption 2. All you have to do is check the link in the description to enter and just be an active subscriber. Also, make sure to get geared up for this upcoming western by getting the popular Red Moon or King of the Wild West shirt designs. If you're interested in getting these Red Dead themed t-shirts or any of the other designs, there will be a link in the description as well. So I started this video really trying to emphasize the point of how different of a game this is, because for the last few weeks, it's become clear that Red Dead Redemption 2 is not your typical sequel or prequel. Rockstar Games has approached this game much differently, creating an immersive, realistic open world, but taking that a step further by ensuring almost all aspects of the experience, whether that be riding on your horse or reloading your revolver, is something you, the player, are connected to. This is just a very unique game that pushes the boundaries of the open world genre, and we're going to see that in many different ways, like the wildlife we may see and the weapons we use. Nonetheless, I first want to begin going through all the different animals we have seen thus far in Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption featured 38 species, and based on all the different regions we've seen from the snowy mountains to a bayou, in Red Dead Redemption 2 we're going to see much more variety with wildlife throughout the open world and the different regions we're in. The first animal we have is the turkey vulture, which we can see eating a dead coyote or wolf. We get a better look at what appears to be a coyote in another image. The bison makes a return, but the interesting thing about this is it seems there's an adult and baby version of the animal. We've seen a few few different types of dogs thus far, and obviously many different breeds of horses. Cattle is back, and I wonder if Arthur Morgan will ever have any herding missions. A wild boar appears before being eaten by an alligator. We've seen a few shots of the gator thus far, and it shows that different areas will have different prey and predators. Speaking of predators, we've also seen the intimidating grizzly bear hunting. Rabbits will also be something that we can hunt as we see Arthur with a dead one on the back of his horse. We also see him stealing mallards ducks in another image. A great egret can be seen flying over a forest as well as probably a crow that can be seen in the distance. We see in a few scenes Arthur Morgan and someone else bringing back a dead deer that they hunted. We fortunately do get at least one shot of some deer that's alive as well as an elk that we've seen now a few times. Sheep briefly are shown in the first trailer. Same thing for a cardinal. Fish can be seen on a rack, probably meaning we'll be able to fish in game. Some scenes it's a bit difficult to tell what animal it specifically is. This next shot looks like there's some rats roaming around. It looks like either a weasel or a mongoose is hunting a squirrel. And lastly, possibly an owl can be seen in a tree. Now, within some of the previews for the game, there have been some other mentions of much more wildlife that we'll encounter. The German preview site GamePro stated, the absolute highlight during the demo is the wildlife for us. While Arthur's ride through the game world, we see foxes whizzing around the undergrowth, frogs leaping around, the riverbank, ducks fluttering in the air as we pass by, a charcoal ruined house is battling us with bats, and a grizzly bear is roaring on a river bank. Arthur barely escapes. There were 38 species of animals in the predecessor. Red Dead Redemption 2 will clearly beat that again, including with alligators in the wetlands of the game, but the fauna is not only more diverse, but also interacts with each other 
much more mature. For example, it is possible to observe predators hunting or scavengers, such as vultures, plunging into the remains of dead animals. I also want to mention some of that is just Google Translate, so it's a little difficult to get that complete translation, but you get the idea. So with that, they do know that there will be a lot of animals we'll see in game, and they'll be active actually hunting or roaming said region. But they do note that we will be able to see foxes, frogs, ducks, bats, vultures, grizzly bears, alligators, and many more animals in game. The Japanese preview site Famitsu also mentioned that we'll see and hear insects floating around as well as owls, specifically stating different from the daytime are the sound of insects at night, the owls cry, the direction of the environmental changes emerging in the moonlight, the wilderness in the night will be much more dangerous than during the day. So now I want to put a list on the screen of all the confirmed animals and just wildlife that we'll see in the game. We have bears, bison, vultures, sheep, rats, alligators, wild boar, cardinals, great egrets, crows, rabbits, deer, elk, cattle, horses, dogs, owls, squirrels, bats, foxes, frogs, wolves, coyotes, insects, fish, and either a mongoose or a weasel are all the different types of wildlife that we know of thus far, and obviously we still have not heard or seen some of the predators, like the cougar, so this is probably just a taste of the vast world. Now next, we move on to the weapons, and looking to Red Dead Redemption, we have a lot of returning weaponry, but we also have some new ways to take down our enemies, which should make gameplay a little more interesting. The biggest new addition is obviously the bow and arrow. This is something many of us hoped to see in Red Dead Redemption, but we never got it. Either way, Rockstar Games has been showing that and dual wielding off quite a bit so far. But other than that, let's start with revolvers and pistols. And we have seen the Cattleman Revolver, or as it's known, the Colt Model 1873 Single Action Army Revolver. The semi-automatic pistol, or the Borchart C93 pistol, is hidden but back. Arthur Morgan on his horse, we can see him shooting using the double action revolver, or the Colt New Model 1892 Army and Navy revolver. In a leaked image, we see Arthur Morgan holding the Volcanic Pistol. Dutch Vanderlyn in Red Dead Redemption 2 has engraved Schofield revolvers, or Smith & Wesson Model 3 Schofield revolvers. And lastly, potentially a new weapon is seen in the original artwork, which shows Mika Bell holding a Colt M1861 Navy revolver. Now to rifles and repeaters, we have Arthur Morgan holding the repeater carbine, or the Spencer Model 1860 Carbine. On Sadie Adler's horse and with Arthur pointing a rifle in someone's face, we have the Henry Repeater or the 1860 Henry Rifle. Bill Williamson in multiple shots can be seen holding or using the Bolt Action Rifle or the Springfield Model 1894 Craig Jorgensen Rifle. Arthur Morgan is seen holding and hitting someone with a Winchester Repeater or a Winchester Model 1873. And lastly for rifles, it can be seen Sadie Adler holding the Carcano Rifle. Rifle. To shotguns, we have a random NPC holding a double barrel shotgun. John Marston can be seen holding a pump action shotgun or the Winchester Model 1897 shotgun. In a few scenes, we have a sawed off version of the double barrel shotgun being used and held. Possibly a new weapon we see is the coach gun, which may be a custom variant of the double barrel shotgun with a short barrel length. Some other weapons we see obviously is the knife. Hand to hand combat is showed off quite a bit, so hopefully. Hopefully that means melee combat is more useful than how it was in Red Dead Redemption. And then we have Dynamite, with Arthur Morgan just blowing some shit up. We also obviously have the lasso back, but I'm not sure if you can consider that a weapon, but it will be at our disposal. So all the weapons we know of thus far is the Kettleman Revolver, the Semi-Automatic Pistol, the Double Action Revolver, the Volcanic Pistol, the Skullfield Revolver, the Repeater Carbine, the Henry Repeater, the Bolt Action Rifle, the Winchester Repeater, the Carcano Rifle, the Double Barrel Shotgun, the Pump Action Shotgun, the Sawed Off Shotgun, a Knife, Dynamite, our Fist, and a Lasso if you consider that a weapon, and some potential new additions that we don't know the custom name that they'll be given in the Red Dead Redemption universe is the Couch Gun and the Colt M1861 Navy Revolver. Again, same thing I said with Wildlife, this is just a taste of what we'll actually see in game. We so far have not seen weapons like the Lamat Revolver, the Springfield Rifle, and the Rolling Block Rifle. These are weapons that I expect that we will eventually see in Red Dead Redemption 2. So, 
that for the most part is all the weapons we will see in Red Dead Redemption 2, but it's important everyone understands that guns work much differently in this game. You'll be upgrading and possibly customizing weapons, so that may mean we could see different versions of weapons as the game progresses. Anyway gang, thank you for watching, and I want to know your thoughts on which weapon you think you'll be using the most in Red Dead Redemption 2. For me, it'll probably be the bow and arrow or the double action revolver, but let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below. Hello. Also, if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, make sure to smack that like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any Red Dead Redemption 2 videos to come. And remember, Outlaws to the end.